I'm the wandering bearded idiot on Facebook and Instagram, and this is Skinny Timmy, and we watch Trucker Josh vlogs whenever we have a chance on the road. Hope to see you out there. Ooh. Another day is here. The shop is coming along pretty well. I've got the wife's winter tires here. Uh, I washed them. You can tell that the last time I took them off, I didn't wash them and I just let them sit outside in the elements. They were in bags, but all that road salt and stuff stayed on them and they began to rust. So uh, I've got to clean these up so that next winter they're ready for her. I'll probably paint them. Uh, they're just winter tires and rims, right? The, this is just the rubber is a little different for those of you who don't live in winter climates. They're not studded, uh, but they do grip the snow and ice a lot better than regular tires. On my truck, I've got all season, all terrain tires, so I never change these tires. But on her vehicle, I like to make sure that she's, she's good. Uh, the terrain is all wheel drive. That thing's like a tank and she's, she's great in that vehicle. Like, she can go through anything. Got my bull snot cleaning corner here. Just some tables for now, just to put stuff. And the couch section here, where I can sit and just stare at the truck oh, when it's in here. But no time for sitting. We gotta get to work. We'll see you later. I'm trying to remember where I put the trailer yesterday. <laughs> I thought I'd put it back here in the loaded lineup, but I'm pretty sure now that I see that it's not here, that I put it in that loaded lineup over there. It was such a long day yesterday. I was tired. I slept so good though. That's such a good night's sleep. Finally, finally I can tell you I'm not tired. I'm feeling great. Where's my trailer? Someone else hook onto it and go? It's the stuff I picked up yesterday. Ha <laughs> ha! There you are, my pretty. Come with me. We're going to finish this delivery. We're off to see the wizard. Maybe not the wizard, but... The receiver who will unload my trailer like magic, like a wizard. So we're off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Winnipeg. See if we can get onto the highway here. Excuse me, Trucker Josh would like to enter your space. Why are you driving in the left lane? Oh, and now it's too late, bud. Too late. I already decided I'm gonna wait for everybody. Nice car. I don't even care that you were in the left lane. Nice. You can drive in the left lane all day, buddy. You have my permission. Brand new Corvette. Nice. What about the rest of you? What's your excuse? Hogging up my lane here. What are you all doing? What do you think you're doing? Going to work or something? You're riding your brakes on the highway. Drive with one foot, not two feet. See that the brake lights are on. It's a drive with one foot. I could have gone, but I would have had to cut off this traffic coming in the left lane here. And I don't cut people off on purpose. Okay, I think my lane is free now. Here we go. Here we go. Here comes Trucker Josh. Watch out. Hot stuff coming through. Just gonna wait for that car coming there to pass me. I don't want to cut him off. And then I'm gonna move into my proper lane where I belong with the other peasants. There we go. Okay, there you go. You see, that feels good. That feels good. In my rightful place. Wonderful, wonderful. Look at that smoke. This is 
is an old truck. Welcome, if you guys are new, uh, you can find out more about me by going to the description of my videos. All of my social media where you can follow me are there. Uh, snail mail, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, uh, you know, all the stuff, all the stuff is down there. You know the drill, you've been watching YouTube for a while. Don't forget to subscribe. Make videos every day, almost every day. And we got some big things coming. I bought a truck. Kenworth W900, I can't wait to show it to you guys on the channel here. It's coming soon in the next few weeks. Like we needed any more rain, it's pouring. I guess it's all right that I didn't have time to wash the truck last night yet. I don't like showing up in the morning with a dirty truck, but uh, looks like mother nature's gonna wash it for me. At least get a start on it. This is not good for our flooding situation here in Manitoba. It's been a really wet spring. I don't know if the farmers are gonna be able to get out onto their fields to seed. And then we got a big problem. There's already a food shortage that they're talking about. Okay, we're gonna stop. And if the world's already uh, a little short on food and grains and stuff, and we can't seed our fields here in Canada, or in Manitoba anyways, because of all the wetness. I mean, this doesn't account for all of Canada. Canada's a massive country. I can drive for three days that way and still not be at the Pacific Ocean. And I can drive for three days that way and I still won't be at the Atlantic. So it's a big country. Just because we can't seed our fields here in this region doesn't mean the rest of Canada isn't seeding and growing food. So I don't want to like, contribute to the panic that sometimes the media spreads. You know, like, oh, we're short. Ah, oh, there's going to be no food. There's going to be food. There's lots of food being grown in Canada. It's just our region here. The farmers in this region are going to suffer if they can't get a crop in the ground. And that's how they make their money, right? That's the same thing as, like, me owning my truck when I get my W9 and it breaks down and I have to wait, like, three months for parts. For, for three months, I can't make any money, right? It's even worse with the farmers because if they can't get seed in the ground this year, I mean, they don't make any money this year. They have to wait till next year. That could cripple these farmers. So I, I'm not a farmer myself. Maybe it's not that bad. But uh, we'll just keep them in our thoughts. I have to get all the way across to the left lane here now. Good traffic just coming to an end here. Go. So slide over here. Grab another gear and just slide one more. Grab another gear and coast. Just headed back to the yard. I have an empty step deck behind me if you didn't see it back there yet. Uneventful. Just uh, went there, took my straps off. They took the freight off the trailer. Boom, done. And I haven't heard anything from the load gods yet of what I'm uh, supposed to be doing, so that means head back. Figure it out when we get there. Is this gonna turn yellow on me? It is. It absolutely is. I should have been in that lane. That's the lane I should have been in. I doing in this lane I knew better than that oh boy. we'll make it work we'll make it work shouldn't be too busy here when you're pulling a trailer you always want to be on the outside lane so that you have a, a wider turn radius right so that you can pull your trailer around now I have to make sure that I don't drag my trailer over that curb right there when I get the green light while at the same time not hitting these people here. It's tight. We're good. Lesson learned. What I was thinking there. We made it work, Bill. We made it work. 
Oh, puddles. That guy is splashed in a puddle. I want to splash in a puddle too. Oh, 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 he splashed all the water away. He left nothing for me. Oh, that's not very nice. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's fun. I've never grown up. I've, I, nope. Why? I'm exactly the same guy as I was when I was eight years old, except now I actually drive the trucks instead of just dreaming about driving the trucks and riding with dad in the truck. Now I drive my own truck. I still like splashing in the puddles though. That never got old. Except this guy keeps splashing them in them before me, then he takes all the water away and then I don't get a splash in them. So I gotta let him get ahead of me a little bit so that he splashes and then the water comes back. <laughs> I'm only, I'm, I'm, all, I'm being pretty serious, but just on a serious note though, if you want to be splashing in the puddles, make sure you're not splashing pedestrians or anything, okay? Or like uh, splashing water onto vehicles coming towards you or beside you, obviously stuff like that. I don't have to tell you that. But hey, it's not hurting anybody. Why not? It's just insane the amount of water. Looks like all the water's on that side now. That's okay. That's why I got a bicycle. Uh, the bikes that we got, we got those cruisers. They mine have fenders. I admit it, it's an old man bike. I don't care. I oh, fenders. I can go splash in the puddles and not get dirty. <laughs> I always hated riding a bike and then getting that strip up your back from the back tire spraying your back. So I wanted fenders so it didn't do that. I mean, that probably means I'm old, but that's okay. It's, getting there. I don't think I'm old yet, but yeah, I'm getting there. I Oh, 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 oh. No, no, that wasn't a very big puddle. No. I guess that was all the water. Okay. Fun times. Oh, what's on the road here? Oh, shoot. Go around this. Watch out, buddy. What is that? Is that a muffler? The guy behind me hit it. Oh, no. Oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> Watch where you're going, bud. <laughs> he just about nailed it. Oh, boy. Slow day. Slow day at work. That's all that we had to do today. So, something's going on over here. What's going on? Chevy. Chevy, this is all for you, man. This is your big day. Well, Chevy, come, come see the peanut butter wall. Come on, Chef. We're going to give him our secrets for how we bathe dogs. Peanut butter. <laughs> First of all, Wiener, you're going to have to uh, out. stay out of here. Chevy, come back. Wiener, you stay out. Wiener, out. Wiener, out. Chevy, in. Chevy, come on. Up. Wieners are out. Chevys in. are in. Come on. Just come on. stay there for a sec, okay? Just close that so I don't have to worry about it. Chevy, it's your bath time. It's your yeah. bath time. Are you excited? Yeah. <gasps> Peanut butter. See? Oh, come on. Oh, come on, Chef. Look, there's a whole wall of it. Just <sighs> Oh, yeah. Come on. Chev, look. Chevy, come in. Come in. Is this scaring you? This, maybe? Go out of there, maybe? Well, now it's up there, and it's even scarier. Okay. Okay, Chef. You can do come it. Come on, Chef. Oh, Chevy, come on. In. In the bathtub. Come on, buddy. Chevy, go. Come. Look, Mom's in there. Come oh, here. my goodness. Look. Come on. Look. Come on. Come on. Come on. She'll probably be moving Chevy. Chevy. All right, Chevy, you're getting in the bath. Come here. One way or another. Chef, in here. We have to come resort on. to desperate measures. It's okay. Chevy, come. Just don't come. hurt your back, babe. Come. come. No, you gotta come closer. It's 98 pounds of pure fluke. He wasn't trying to pick him up. Chevy, come on. Chevy. No. Chevy, come here. Go, go. Come here. Go. Chevy, it's okay. Come here. Come on. Come on. Does he have yeah. a bath before? Does he know what's gonna happen? Yeah. Remember? He was always sick as a puppy and then he rolled in that dead frog that one time. He's Chevy. safe, just not in this house. Chevy, come here. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna have to pick him up. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, 
Okay, here we go, Chef. This is Just happening. Don't hurt your back. Don't hurt your back. This is happening, buddy. It's because we love you. It's because we love you. Ah. <laughs> Just turn him around so he's facing the peanut butter wall. I will. Okay. Get him in here first. Okay. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. You come over here. It's okay. Turn around. Lift this up. Turn around. Oh my goodness. Look There's a wall of peanut butter. Oh, look at that. Oh, don't touch. Oh, 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 oh. oh. There we Voila. go. Voila, and he is calm. Okay, you're on peanut butter duty. Let's get this done. All right. Stay, stay there, stay. Chef. He's pushing. No, no. It's okay. It's okay. Look at the peanut butter. Mm. Mm, peanut butter. Yummy. Yeah, there you go. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. There we go. It's okay, Chef. Stay okay. here. Oh. <laughs> Slippery. Careful. Careful. You're stinking. We have to wash you. You're a stinker. You're okay. stinking up the whole house, Boober. He doesn't even care about the peanut butter anymore. Oh. I'm gonna get him some water right away, but. So, do you have any secrets of how you wash your 100 pound dogs? This is our secret. <laughs> our not so secret secret anymore. Yeah. It even works for Big Frank. Oh, a lot of water pouring out on the floor he's here. He's not 100 pounds, but. He's got the attitude for a 100-pound dog. Yeah. Are you good now, Chef? Can I leave and you're going to stay in here for Mom? Buddy, look. Eat the peanut butter. Yeah, here. there you go, Boober. Just don't put that back in the jar after this. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. It's okay. There will be enough. I'll get it done fast enough for one more peanut butter wall. It's going to be enough? Yeah, I think so. Why do you, Chef? Here comes seconds. Oh, yes. Oh, my nice goodness. Thin layer across there like that. Get some up here. Oh, yeah. Right in the grout. All oh. right. Yeah. You spend all the time getting that out of there you want. I can't wait. Let's not put that back in the... In the Just throw it in the sink. It's fine. That distracts him while we quickly get him bathed. As quick as possible. There's a lot of fur in here. A lot of layers. We don't bathe them too often. It's not good probably the well, no, first he, time in a while. Yeah, he, since we lived in the last house, at least. But he's uh, he's gotten smelly. And we've noticed that when we uh, leave them in a room while we're gone or whatever, leave them in their room, we come back, we can, we can smell it. Even with the air purifier going. Yeah, so usually you can't s smell that there's dogs in here. When we have guests over here, I always ask them right away, can you smell that there are dogs in the house? Be no, honest. and be honest, yeah, they can't smell the dogs in here, so we air it out. It's just, I think when he gets stressed out, maybe he uh, releases some kind of oil or, oil or something when we're gone and he's worried, and I don't know. But we're giving this a shot, and hopefully we can make him smell good again. More soap, baby. More soap. More soap. Soap me. Soap you soap up. Soap me. Well, not actually me, just my hands. Oh. Good? A little yeah. extra. Yeah, there we go. Okay. The undercarriage here. Oh, get that belly. And uh, this is the shampoo that we're using. It's it shed. Bottle. Yeah, we've had it for a while. Uh, vitamin enriched shed control shampoo. Uh, it's got nutrients, key nutrients, antioxidants, antioxidants. You can read it. Yeah, healthy skin and coat. Soothes and revives a shiny, fresh smelling coat. It's a sweet cherry almond scent. Get it all, Chevy. Come on, Chevy. Very graceful. Wonderful. So graceful. Go join your brothers. Come on. It's all over now. Oh, there's the rest of the water that we missed. We still got to get rid of this stuff. <laughs> That's bad already. That's really redneck leaving that there for that long. We're going to cut it up into smaller pieces and put it in garbage bags and leave it by the street. That was this. I think I've told you that before, right? Anyways, so that was the day. Another short day at work. Hasn't been that busy this week, but uh, 
I'm sure we'll make up for that either on Friday or next week. It always, there's a bit of a lull and then all of a sudden it just takes off again. It sort of goes up and down like that, but it was fun. That's how we bathe our dog. I'd love to know any secrets, tips, or tricks that you guys have to bathe your big dogs. Let me know down in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. I'm the wandering bearded idiot on Facebook and Instagram and this is Skinny Timmy, and we watch Trucker Josh vlogs whenever we have a chance on the road. Hope to see you out there. Ugh.